In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for CuSO4 plus Na2S, copper 2 sulfate plus sodium sulfide. First thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. Here, this molecular equation, it's already balanced. Next, we write the state for each substance. Sulfate's general very soluble copper sulfate, copper 2 sulfate, is very soluble, so it'll break apart into its ions. Sodium compounds, also very soluble. That'll be aqueous. You have another sodium compound, sulfate, aqueous. But for the copper 2 sulfide, if we look that up, this is insoluble. Because of that, we're going to write an S. It'll be a solid. In fact, it'll be a precipitate in this chemical reaction. So we have the states. Next, we'll split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This will give us the complete ionic equation. Copper, we don't know the charge on, but we do know the sulfate is always 2 minus. So the copper has to be 2 plus. So this is the copper 2 ion. We'll write Cu2 plus. We'll write aqueous at the end. Let's not write that now. And then the sulfate ion, SO4, 2 minus. Sodium, group 1, has a 1 plus charge. The sulfide ion, 2 minus. So we have two of those sodium ions, 2Na plus, plus the sulfide ion, S2 minus. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the product side, we have plus and then 2 minus here. So we'll have two sodium ions plus the sulfate ion, SO4, 2 minus. And we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So we just write CuS. And this is the complete or total ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not really interested in them. I can see in the reactants there's a sulfate here, and then again in the products, sulfate. We'll cross that out. Two sodium ions here and two sodium ions here. Cross that out. What's left is the net ionic equation for CuSO4 plus Na2S. I'll clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for copper 2 sulfate plus sodium sulfide. You see charge is conserved. We have a 2 plus and a 2 minus. They balance out. We get this neutral compound. And mass is conserved as well. We have a copper atom, copper atom, sulfur atom, sulfur atom. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.